We have developed a catheter insertion simulation system which takes as input patient data acquired with a standard medical scanner and which gives the impression of a patient laying down on a surgical table while undergoing an operation. As the most important feedback required to perform precise catheter insertion is a haptic feedback. The system employs a phantom force display to simulate virtual needle. To help the surgeon find the optimum insertion point and drive the needle towards the vessel during the puncture, the system allows the surgeon to perceive the patient's position and shape by means of a head-tracked stereoscopic view. By means of a mirror, the system reflects the image displayed within the phantom workspace and physically registers its reference frame according to the phantoms by adjusting the position and inclination of mirror and screen. Tracker space and phantom space instead are registered via software with a transformation matrix calculated during a previous calibration stage. Here the surgeon can confidently seize the phantom stylus simply looking at its virtual image. Patient data are stored as they are acquired and a two-dimensional user interface panel can be used by the physician to interactively specify the transfer function which maps the data values into opacity, color and mechanical values. Here, three types of tissue, bone, vein and muscle, are given non-zero values. Bone and vein are hidden behind the muscle. The physician now reduces muscle opacity in order to see the vein, whose position may slightly vary according to the patient. He then deletes the muscle in order to perceive the haptic consistence of the vein. As the Phantom is a 3 degrees of freedom force device, the system does not allow the surgeon to seize the needle with his hands. He can only touch it at its end point. When the needle collides with a tissue surface, the system takes that it generates a micro hole that keeps it to the surface and calculate a reaction force directed along the axis of the needle. Here, the reaction force is viewed by means of a three-dimensional arrow applied to the needle endpoint and of three two-dimensional recording instruments showing single reaction components. The upper instrument traces the axial component and shows the needle state with different background colors, yellow for surface contact and red for tissue penetration. When the needle pierces the tissue surface, an equilibrium copy of the needle is stored by the system to evaluate tissue stretching and eventually calculate the reaction forces. Now, the system decomposes the needle movement into axial and normal components and uses them separately to calculate the reaction force components. Each component is calculated by numerical integration on a stated number of needle trunks. Reaction forces are referred to needle endpoint and applied to the phantom arm. If the axial component is greater than the static friction threshold, the system calculates the amount of the needle slip within the tissues and updates the position of its equilibrium copy. Our system makes it possible to train surgeons on actual patient data, providing combined visual and haptic feedback. We are currently extending it to the simulation of other types of operations.